I'm John Harris. It's winter again and we've got the old oil furnace cranked in the shop. It's been a busy year at Chesapeake Lightcraft with a lot of new boats rolled out, including Pocket Ship, a 15-foot cruising sailboat. This time last year, the boat was mostly drawings and sawdust. Now she's got a whole season of hard sailing behind her, and we'll look back on how it all worked out. Over the winter of 2008, Jeff Kerr built Pocket Ship at his shop in Westford, Vermont. I enjoyed visiting from time to time, checking on progress and offering advice, most of which Jeff didn't need. He did a terrific job. In all, it took about 550 hours, including 400 hours of sanding and 30 hours looking for the pencil. In late April, we dragged her onto the trailer and I headed for Annapolis. This time, Lake Champlain wasn't frozen over. A few all-night rigging sessions and the boat was ready for a launch at Okumi Fest, Chesapeake Lightcraft's annual customer rendezvous. There was time for a proper champagne christening. Some for the boat, some for the designer. You can imagine my relief when the thing floated the right way up. But would she really sail? Pocket Ship has been a great delight on the water. In winds light or heavy, with one person aboard or four, she charges along, points well, and the helm is light and precise. The gaff rig is no affectation. Combined with a mast that folds down in 30 seconds for trailering, the gaff rig offers stump pulling horsepower on all points. A taller Marconi rig wouldn't be any faster, but it would be more expensive, harder to build, detract from stability, and make the boat harder to trailer. Anyway, it's hard not to dig the 19th century British pilot cutter vibe with a four foot long bowsprit threatening any jet skier who tries to get too close. With 148 square feet of working sail on a 13 foot waterline, Pocket Ship moves well in light air, a proper ghoster. I'm sure Douglas Fowler's expertly cut sails help. And of course, You'll also need to reef sooner than later. The first reef goes in at about 13 knots. If you don't mind sacrificing a little pointing ability, you could just as easily roll up the jib as a first reef. The spinnaker isn't a requirement, but it sure is fun. You can set it standing in the safety of the companionway. And when it's pulling, it's like a turbocharger. With that big cabin between the crew and the bow wave, pocket ship is dry, even when blasting the windward in choppy waves. The next video will focus on interior accommodations. But as demonstrated here, the cabin is big enough for two adults to set up house for weeks at a time, or six squirmy kids. So far though, I haven't spent much time below place to be is at Pocket Ship's helm. It's been a great project. Plans and manual took a little longer than we thought, but with those finished, anyone with the weekends and evenings to spare can build this nifty little pocket cruiser. When the weather gets cold, you can store it at home cost-free, or drive south until you don't need a hoodie for a few weeks of cruising on Florida's Gulf Coast or the Sea of Cortez. See more neat boats you can build this winter at clcboats.com. I'm John Harris.